Hey guys, welcome back to the lovely state of Wayport Roblox. I see it's the long story. So today, me and the boys have decided to do a new challenge. What we call the Budget Flex Car Challenge. So as you guys can see, we brought in some, I don't know, some really good flex cars for today's challenge that aren't too overpriced and actually get people's attention. So yeah, and uh, you guys can all say hi. So this is Gabriel, you can, you can say hi. He's, he's, he's showing up. Oh, this is SD Gamer what? Studio. You can say hi. Um, this is Lucy. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna probably start the video off with the drag race. I just noticed that my state wheels on the other side of the car. Yeah, it's a British type of thing. So yeah, now we're probably gonna get onto the video. Or just at least, we're probably gonna get onto the car models and sound and stuff. Hey guys, so now it is time just to show you guys how the models of the interiors and car designs look like and we're also gonna showcase the first time. So um yeah this is the actual Martin interior pretty basic pretty nice I mean well I just read this like a three out of five it's gotten a good amount of detail but not too much. I mean I think it's pretty well detailed but yeah this is a uh, nice detail across the car. I like that a lot. It's a pretty cool looking car I like the design a lot. Yeah and I like this white line. It's like some good detail. So this is the Jaguar model, so this is the Jaguar projection D. I don't know exactly what kind of Jaguar this is, but um, it looks like a track toy, or a car that's made for the track. So uh, yeah, these are, these are some pretty cool designs. I, I like the exterior design, but like the interior design kind of looks lame. I mean, there is no detail in this interior except the seats. But I do like how they made the steering wheel on the right hand side like it is in the United Kingdom. So uh, yeah, this is my Bentley. So this car, as you guys can already tell, has lots and lots of detail. You guys can see the diamonds, like diamond embedded headlights. I thought that was actually yeah. These are the, uh, I don't know, the Bentley logo. That's not actually, you know, done for copyright. I really like how the headlight feature looks. Yeah, you can like see the fine detail over there. And let's look into the interior. This is a nice detail. So yeah, this is a pretty nice looking interior. I like the wood paneling, all that kind of stuff. The seats look really good too. I mean, I like this. I love this design to be honest. Let's see the back seats. Um, yeah, so that's a pretty cool design. Bentley has a great interior. Probably like a five star. It's like for most way for interiors. So this is Mercedes Benz AMG GTR interior. I would rate this like a three out of five just because there is a, lot of, a good amount of detail, but not too much. And uh, this is the exterior model. So I do like the headlight detail. The um, yeah, the room detail, like they have a white outline, a white trim to them. Yeah, this is a pretty nice looking car. I won't lie. So yeah, and uh, now we're probably gonna move on Wait, to sound. Yeah, in a second. So uh, Drew, you mind getting out of your car and getting no, some no, no. All right, guys. So now it's time for the sounds. So uh, Drew, you mind getting to your car and turning some cold startup? And then can you all uh, rev? Can you rev your car? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that sounds different. Um, but uh, yeah, it sounds like a very electrical sound. Okay, now I guess it's my time. My turn for the full startup. Okay, that's very aggressive. Let's go into the interior. I mean, no, I mean, let's go to the road. Alright, that's cute. So you can get into the Jaguar. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Wait, I'm to do a break, I'm about to do a break. Well, is that the game or? No, I go to the interior. Here you go. This sounds very electrical too. Sounds a little more hyper. KSD, you can get out. Nice yeah, KSD, you can get out. SD, you can get out of the car. It's like, I can't have mine. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, you can show us a cold startup. <laughs> Sounds a lot like mine, I don't know why. It's like it's like a hybrid pitched version of mine, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright guys, so now it's time for the drag racing and I'm going to be on it using the AMG, so this is going to be a very hard race. If I win this, I would be really surprised, especially when he gets a supercar on the Grand Tour. Oh my gosh, dude, look at that launch! Dude, I got a great launch, man, right off the line, and the Mercedes-Benz AMG is like really lagging behind, and I've won that race. I was not expecting to win that, evidently, but that is, that is pretty impressive, I will consider myself. Yeah, I'm taking the Jaguar on this. Wait, no wait, the Jaguar doesn't take have a good launch off the line. And the Ashton Marvin probably takes that win right there. Oh, I was not expecting that. Alright, guys. Yeah, yeah, so I guess that is it for the Jaguar season. And, looking at the time, I actually... I mean, I did two races, but I had the better time out of the cars, so I guess I will take that victory. I guess the two best cars are at the end. My Bentley looks so nice, though, like, the paint is so glossy and reflective. I, it looks like I'm ahead of you in my screen. Faster. Bentley, go. Dude, you have the better top speed. The Astro Martin has the highest of the top. Yeah, I, oh gosh. Um, yeah, and I managed to steal it before the Astro Martin. Let's go, guys. Bentley is the really good. I wasn't even expecting this. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this car to be good. I thought this car was going to lead. To be honest, that's impressive. No, I would say. Okay, guys, so now you're back. I mean, setting rules to do a toss speed one that's not too toss speed oriented, but that's not too short. So, what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna drive straight until we get underneath the tunnel that's past the drag ship. So, Drew will press this down and we will begin. Three, two, Alright guys, so right now it's gonna be a close race between me and the Aston Martin. Yes, it is. And uh wait, it seems like the Aston Martin is still invisibility. He's slowly gaining on me like by one month first. You can see the AMG GTR will it have enough time to catch up to the Aston Martin. I can also see the Jaguar off there in the distance. Is that me or is the Jaguar actually going really quickly? Yeah, it looks like I took the win. Yeah, that's nice. That was, uh, I guess, I mean, that just shows the, that only seems to be the superior one here. I can't believe my picking was the best. I won't lie. Like, I was expecting it. Yeah, so we'll see you guys once we get to the cross countries. Alright guys, so we are now at the, at the cross country, so you guys can see. Yeah, so we have the big, big spoiler Jaguar against us, so, and the AMG GTR, so let's see if these cars can handle better. My active arrow is so tiny, I won't lie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. So right now, it looks like I'm better. Okay, it looks like the Jaguar actually might be better than the other cars in cornering so far. I mean, you can see it's in second place. So this is where you have to break, just right here. You gotta take the corner in pretty nicely. I mean, you can drift when you want to, maintain control. Looks like the Ashton took the corner deep, really deep. The Jaguar is right behind me. Where's the AMG? The GTR. Wait, what happened to the AMG GTR? Did he crash? Oh yeah. Well, the AMG is the most really okay. Yeah, same with me actually. I know that happens a lot. I think it's still. So right now, mine's the seven point seven Yeah, same. I guess this is the broken GUI. I think. No, I. The tree. Okay, you know what? That doesn't even matter. So it looks like my car has a bit of understeer, but it's not too bad. So it looks like the Ashton Martin must be really bad at turning. So can you guys give me a status on what's happening behind? I can't see you guys, so... Let's see. Whoever pops out of the school first. 
I'm taking lots of people in this one. The Buffy... Yeah, the Buffy makes the corner of the Looks like the Bentley must be the best. I think this might be a clean sweep for the Bentley. Oh no. Hey guys. Yeah, what do you think? What do you got? Okay, so I'll start off with Gabe. What do you think about your car? Yeah, like, does it like does it corner ball? Like, subscribe. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like the Jaguar, guys, has a really good, uh, slow corner speed, but doesn't take corners at high speeds really well. You know, I see my car is really doing well at the high speed corners, it's not really doing too bad. It's very stable, very simple to control, it has a bit of understeer, but that's it. The AMG must have a lot of understeer. And, uh, what about the Ashton? SD, what about your car? Do you have understeer in yours, or is it, like, good? Looks like the AMG DCR and the Action Martin must have brick steering. And the Jaguar and me probably have some really good turning too. I mean, I guess we both have right? Yeah, so it looks like the Bentley is a really good all rounder though. Like, it has good top speed. Yeah, it must have lots of force power. So the Jaguar must have some pretty good acceleration. Which is like general acceleration. Might not have a great launch, but um, yeah, I kind of find the Bentley is a good cornering car. It's a good all rounder, like I said, it's just it's good at everything almost. But it's not amazing, but it's pretty good. Yeah. Now it is time for the final overview. So, what I'm gonna say is uh, basically what we did, we just like literally hopped into a private server, I mean, a public server, and see what try to see what happens and see like everywhere i go people just follow me because like i guess they want to cruise like there's this dude in a blacked out bmw just annoying us by following us around so i guess people really like this car it really gets a lot of attention the bentley and uh this uh jaguar uh i don't know i mean this is a pretty cool car so so far from what i've heard it's just it's not great it's not bad it's just in between it's got these paddles it's got these acceleration i mean it's not the best it did lose several of our performance races, but it did have a pretty good half like in general. The Ashton Martin is that type of car with quick steering, according to SC Gaming Studio. He says he does not recommend it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, don't. Okay, and this here is the Bentley. So, I mean, what I'm going to say is the Bentley won this challenge because it's just the best here. It's got all the attention, and it's just the uh, ultimate. I mean, well, what I'm saying is it's the best performance car here. And, uh, yeah, and it... It didn't get tech attention. I guess it is the best flex car, the Bentley. And, uh, yeah. And the AMG GTR is also a good car and all, but, like, um, did not succeed in performance. I mean, it did get sec second place on the cross country, but, uh, it wasn't perfect. So, yeah. And that is the end of the video today. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.